All right, so I was trying to figure out what, what the heck was going on with the uh, computer, why it wasn't saving the settings properly, like the berry, the berry, sorry, the clock would stay wrong, like, it will be like nine minutes behind, and then two hours later, this is just an example, let's, for example, I turn off computer for nine minutes, the clock is wrong, like it's nine minutes behind. And then I'd say a couple of hours later, the settings reset. So I was trying to figure like what the heck is going on. And I looked at the voltage. The battery voltage was pretty good, but going from the battery itself to the RTC chip, which is right here, which is a Hitachi. Come on, focus. Hitachi HD 146818P. Um, apparently it requires voltage for the barrier between 2.7 and 4.5, respectfully. Um, so, this is what I came up with. I'm a Game Boy DMG01 that I have, it's up working. So I decided, what the heck, I was MacGyver or something here. Redneck battery holder. <laughs> I just took the positive lead off the, uh, motherboard off the DMG01. And... Placed it right here and bent those little two small pins right there. Let's focus. So it's not like to cooperate today. Inward, so we, it'll be nice and snug. And as for the negative face, I right, right at the negative terminal right here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of tape over here to keep this battery in place so it doesn't wiggle out. But yeah, I, th I think I did a pretty <laughs> darn good job. I've never done something like this before. This is very unusual. Let's see what happens when I put everything back together. Alright, so I got everything all buttoned back up here. That's about it. Bring the power supply. Video cable. Anyway, I have. you here in the ISO slot. Because I want to put the network card the bottom corner there so it'll be a little bit easier for me to everything else that you guys go ahead and turn on turn around. Let's see if we get a video. Thanks. Of course I put the turbo switch in backwards. See if I put the hard drive light on right this time. Sometimes I put the. Yep, it did. Let's see, today's date is July 3rd, 1980, 2020. And the time is. No idea what time it is right now. Now I gotta go put the turbo switch in the right way. I don't know what the heck's going on with it, 
sometimes it does, I think it's because of uh, this cable or something. See what time it is right now. It's probably the correct time. So, okay, so I verified the time on my thermostat it is the correct time. Let's go ahead and shut it off. And then wait a few minutes and see what happens. And while we're waiting, let's go ahead and I'll give you guys the full specification of this computer. This is an RPT Intergroup um, International Limited LB um, 3A60X. It, it takes it can take a 3A60X. It can take a 4X6 DLC, which is right here, Cyrix. 40CX, 46DLC, 33GP, and over there is a chips and technologies, a ADD387 math coprocessor, if I can put a 386DX33 in here, so that would be more appropriate for um, 386 genre games, and slower, as when you press the turbo button, it when you deferable the system, it'll slow it down to, I'd say, <laughs> close to a 286, um, 16 or something like that. Um, it's got 4 megabytes of memory in here, some 30s. Uh, the, um, some 30s in order to get, actually get the correct amount of memory, you have to have, oh, well, in order for the memory to work, you have to have the correct memory size, correct memory speed you have to have the correct uh, memory parity type like it has to be parity or not parity and i believe the brand chips as well it has to be the same so my plan is to upgrade this thing to like either 16 megabytes or 32 i know it's a little overkill but it's my computer <laughs> and i get to see whatever the heck i want with it a kme um Switching power supply, 203 watts. The power supply switch is right here in the back. Which is actually pretty darn cool. You don't see that in computers these days. They're all up front. The computer right here, the case, this case right here, the switch is up front. That case is from the early 1980s. And I still got to spruce that thing up and do some painting on it. But now I got an AT power supply so I can use this old switch again. I love using the old toggle rocker switches. Um, this is the original hard drive, hard drive, floppy drive that was in the system. Unfortunately, it stopped reading disk. So my guess is the alignment went bad on the heads or something when I tried to fix it, but I got to try to figure that out. But I did find a spare drive. It does not match the case correctly, but it does work. I did lubricate the rails on this thing and Seems to work for just fine. Um, five and a quarter inch, one point two megabyte floppy drive. That drive works out of the blue. Um, I got the Kurtz Ravenstein on diskette right here. That I burnt from a uh, well, actually the game was free, but I downloaded the game from the person from the person's website and put it onto that diskette. Um, I got it was from digital. Uh, WD43AA um, hard drive. This computer does not support logical block addressing. Well, the BIOS doesn't. It supports up to 504 megabytes per se because of the disk geometry. Uh, disk geometry because of lack of LBA twenty um, uh, L logical block addressing, which was um, introduced on later. 46 machines. I know the early 46 motherboards also had the um, limitation on it, but there are um, IO controller card, like um, uh, the, 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 the IDE controller cards, they have the enhanced BIOS, like the SIIG um, variants. I believe some other cards did that too, but those things are hard to come across, anyways. 
So, what I did, oops, that's the main card. Okay, so what I did was I put in my 3COM 3C509TP card, and I put XCID Universal Vials on this chip here, 32 kilobytes. Seems to work quite well. So that's the network card over here, it's the Aztec Sound Galaxy NX Pro, the 916 version. This back expansion slot right here is for either the Sony or SCSI drives. And over here is the Passport MIDI um, PC card that I got on eBay dirt cheap. Well, 100 bucks. I'm oh, sorry, 90, 90 bucks. Uh, the text look same, or same, uh, which has a dual SAA 1099, which is right here, aka the Creative Music System so, or Game Blaster clone with the LAM 2151 and the 3012. Um, uh, stereo deck adjacent to it. Um, wind bond S A I'm sorry B A or A B seven five seven G V two. I can't find a way to disable the parallel port on here or or com port two because this thing is conflicting with the parallel port at the moment. Um, the Trident eighty nine zero zero C I believe. Play my function. Read it correctly. TVGA eight nine zero zero C. Okay, I was right in the button. I gotta go. Get a better video card for this thing. And at the bottom is the Creative Lab CR five six three B C ROM drive. That's connected to this A six Sound Galaxy NX Pro. The sound card does work. I have done some trace repairs on this beast and replaced some um, audio jacks on here. Replaced all three of them just to be safe because, well, yeah, all three of them. I put a pack of resistors for the uh, potent volume wheel potentiometer um, substitute because those things are hard to come across. And then at the back of the system, Back of this system here, right at the corner, right above the power supply, is my redneck um, battery holder. Uh, the DMG01 uh, rear chassis, which I just showed you earlier. Alright, so a few minutes has passed. I think it's seven minutes past, but oh well. Let's go ahead and turn around. Go into the BIOS here and see if the time is correct. C zero zero three five. I think that time is correct. Let me make sure. Hey hey hey! <laughs> well, folks, that worked out really well. I got to hand it to myself. And of course, I also think I'm about disappearing ink on Discord for the assistance with it. Couldn't have done it without them. And for everyone else for this particular um, issue that I've been having. And I thought it was the RTC chip in of itself that was having issues, but it turned out it was just a Low voltage on the power on the power supply for the battery. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, so I got the um, uh, operating system. The files copied from the 16 gigabytes SSD that's in my Packard Bell, which needs repairs. Motherboard that I got on eBay was junk. Doesn't even want to turn on. Almost got it to work. Okay, so there we go. It's got 4 megabytes of memory in here. It's got 64 kilobytes of level 2 cache on this motherboard. The processor in of itself has a whopping 1 kilobyte. <laughs> this computer is really slow for, for a few games here and there, but I'm actually quite happy how this turned out. I gotta give this thing some TLC. Um, Primarily, you need to get rid of the yellowing. That's over here. Like, it is slightly yellowed. Like, right here and everything, but 
some of the, let's see, like 90% of the case is yellow there front here, but, oh no, it doesn't look too bad. And for a $10 system and a really cheap fix, <laughs> sure, doing, yeah, trace repairs and putting a better battery um, connections on here, I'd say it turned out really well. And your AP1, I was trying to figure out what the heck that does. That controls the circuitry. So I had to leave that on there. There's the external battery holder uh, connector on there. I have no idea what else these jumpers do, but I believe these ones right here adjacent to the cache are ones that control the low to cache on this particular system. So I think you can put up to 256 on here, but 64K is um, sufficient enough for my needs. And 4 megs is okay, but not really, but one thing I need to do is upgrade this video card. Might as well get like a, an ET4008, 4008X or something like that. I have the uh, 4000W32P um, local bus card. And this thing does support local bus. EI saw cards. Requires drivers and everything for that. But other than that, this system will be my next, um, is actually my next uh, gaming computer. I just have to sort out the same card here to remove the conflicts on this card. But it's complicated because I can't find any jumper settings, so I line for it. So, anyway, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment.